So I've been sent this plain brown box. I wonder what's in it. I think I know what's in it. Let's have a look. It's fully taped up, isn't it? This is where you've got to be careful with a with a knife. Right, you don't want this to come open. Right. Okay. I've got to be honest, I wasn't sure about this when they contacted me. They wanted me to test this. This is I'm told this is a is not available in the UK. And it's a, a I've heard this pronounced different ways, but I pronounce it Halo View. It's a reversing and rear view camera. Let's get it out the cardboard box. And it says it's a seven inch screen. It's 1024. Got a loud speaker built into it. And it's it works on 10 to 32 volts so the idea is it can work on motorhomes and trucks and I've seen videos with people fitting this to a truck but I've never seen anyone oh no tell a lie Alan Heath did fit it to his motorhome didn't he so I think he's had this one as well so there's a few uh, few people have tested this already and I haven't I haven't looked at this yet so um, and I've already got a reversing camera and rear view camera so I'm not sure what I'm going to do at the moment but I might just see if I can wire it up and see what it looks like. First of all let's have a look what's on the front of the box. You get a, a screen and you get a camera and as far as I remember a load of cabling. And I also notice it's the NTSC so I can't hook it up to my TV. Ah, cardboard sleeve. And all the specs and the user manual, which you'll probably need to refer to. But perhaps not just at this stage. Yeah, so it's telling you what you've got in there. So I put it that way around. So a support bracket, a mounting bracket for the monitor, a sun shield, power cable, adjustment screws, user manual, and it tells you all the parts. how to wire it up. Okay, so it's got three camera inputs. Um, I think they only provide one, the standard. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Sounds like a project for a rainy day, this doesn't it? So that's the screen. So you've got on, on off, okay, menu, buttons. It's got a tab keep the screen tidy. It's got a grommet, so you drill a hole through your dashboard presumably and put that in there. Jenny's panicking now, drilling holes in your dashboard. You've got a, a multi-way connector, it's the screen. I think the important bit is the, cam the rear view camera itself. And it comes with a mounting bracket. Well, presumably the idea is you mount it on the back of your vehicle and it's got like a presumably that's like a shade it's got some adjusters on the side of it tighten up cable I should have put that over there Ooh. loads of cable Connector. And all these are marked for triggers. Trigger for the camera too. It looks like a little um, plug for the power supply. Yeah, I think you can use that. I think it's already wired, isn't it? So you just plug the power supply in there. I guess. What else we got? For the mounting bracket. I think that's for the monitor. <laughs> goes on there I would guess and holds the monitor and that sticks to your dashboard that sticks to your dashboard down there and it's got a screw up thing so how you can monitor it monitor it you mount it like that on your dashboard we'll have a proper play of that I'm just really sort of have a look what's in the box at the moment I think yeah there's more stuff in here so that's the cable 
think the centre is 12, 12 metres. That's the cable to get to the camera, get the leads to the camera at the back. So, extra cable. Oh, that's the power supply. So, I think, yeah, remember now, they're supplying this can plug in your cigarette lighter so you don't have to do any wiring. And that goes into the back of this connector here. So, that's your power supply. Yeah. So, it's fairly comprehensive, this kit. There's more knobs for mounting things, presumably. There's a load of screws and tape down in the side of the box. So, I think that's about as much as I want to say about this um, little product at the moment. Just really getting it out of the box. And uh, I'll get it out of the box. <laughs> but uh, I will have a go at wiring this up at some stage, even if only on a temporary basis. And if I like the look of it, my thoughts are that that could go where the current camera is. I don't know what the angle of this is, but my, at the moment I've got two cameras, one facing back and one facing down. If this is wide enough, you know, like on that Bailey autograph, it would work for both. So we'll have a little play with that. That's quite a solid feeling thing. It feels quite heavy. Yeah, right, I've got to put it back in the box now. Right, this is all a bit Heath Robinson, but I've put the camera, put the rear view camera, just looking out the back window for the moment. It's just sort of looking down towards our garage there at the back. And it's got a this great big long cable that obviously would go under the van if it was installed. Into the wiring, or I'll call it the wiring loom. It's really, all it is is a cable feed and a power plug. Obviously this is just on a cigarette that's just on a cigarette lighter that they provided, like I showed you earlier. Uh, and that goes into the wiring loom. There are feeds for cam 2, camera 3, and the various triggers. Trigger camera 1, and uh, ground and earth, so, sorry, ground and earth, ground and positive. So that's all you need, really. So that, that would just need to be hidden somewhere. And the camera would be mounted somewhere at the moment I've just got it sitting on the dashboard here and this is going to be really difficult to sort of explain because it depends how well this camera picks up what that reversing camera looks like but uh, the picture I'm looking at is quite clear and it's a, it's a bright day out there and it seems to pick out the brickwork and everything but if I look at the camera I mean, I've got reflections here but if I look at the camera on the, the the rear view camera that's mounted where the rear view mirror would be, it's a bit, the, the bricks are washed out. And uh, it's, yeah, it's difficult to sort of see on this camera, but I'm looking at it and it, it just looks like it's washed out and there's no detail in it. Whereas on this camera, you can see all the bricks, you can see the pointing, you can see the fence. Obviously you can see the top of the window as well. And it does a much more detailed job of showing um, showing the ground there. A very similar angle I think. They're both, I think, this would probably be better um, on the road because I think it's got a wider view. I can see more of the top of the garage I would be able to see more at the top of the garage if the window wasn't in the way. Whereas that rear view uh, is, is simply that. I've got, there's two settings on this one, so if I press the other button. That's the normal sort of rear facing view. I'm still in the reflection there, it's the normal sort of rear facing view. Um, but because this is only a single camera, it's only got one, one view. So the issue with this would be would I be happy with that sort of view certainly the pictures are an awful lot clearer if I press oh, it's not mounted very stably here at the moment but if I press the button 
uh, you can have it triggered so that when you go into reverse it gives you some reversing lines and you can adjust these lines uh, to, to where you want them to go so it gives you an idea of which way you're reversing which is really handy but something that this one do obviously doesn't have so what I think I want to do is actually just sort of find a bit of road somewhere where I can stop and I can stick the camera out the back and see what it looks like but other than that it looks relatively easy to fit just need to find a power supply to go to it and run the wires in into the dashboard I'm thinking where this would probably might be better mounted would be up oh, would be in this corner here somewhere mind you having said that that would bang against the blinds wouldn't it just have to find somewhere where that would that would sit that's interesting I think when we had the Bailey autograph it had a camera but I thought that was mounted in the corner yeah this reversing camera is brilliant absolutely brilliant it's and it, it's a single camera but it seems to work in all situations I suppose it's quite a wide angle view yeah. maybe it was a smaller camera so that might be an issue where do you where do you mount the the camera I mean I could mount it there but I've got my sat nav there that's interesting obviously you can't have it up there without getting in the way let me just have a little play I need two hands for this yeah, I think that's a major issue. I can't, I can't find anywhere to mount that safely because it's bashing against the blind. It's actually knocking against the door there. I can't cover the heat vent there. So the only place it would actually go would be in the middle there. It'd have to go in the middle on that thing there. Which is a real pity because that's a nice screen. I honestly can't think where else to put it at the moment. The other factor is what do I do with this? I know that this comes off and this can be replaced, but I don't really want to move the cap in. Would that, would that fit in there? It might do. Somehow like that. That's oh, a possibility. This, this is a bit of a shocker really because I'm not sure I can actually use this camera. It's a nice big screen, but I think it's too big for this van. If I didn't have these blinds here, it would probably fit in there quite well. But is it the only place I can sort of just about get it is just on the edge of that. And it's, it's pointing at a weird angle. I can't turn it around that way. Obviously you could lift it up a little bit, but then I'm still banging against that. So I can't see I could put it. I might be able to just put it there, but it doesn't. The, the bracket doesn't take you high enough. Do you see? It's got like a bracket on it. If that was a, if that bracket went up higher, it might fit in there somehow. But it's blocking the vent. Well, yeah, and that's a danger, isn't it? You, there's a vent there for demisting. Yeah, you can't have that. Right? No, and obviously the the alternative. Is putting it there which is where my sat nav is at the moment so if I was changing to a sat nav that was stuck on the windscreen it would be okay like that but I mean it's, a, it's quite a disappointment <laughs> I'm actually disappointed yeah 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 because um, it's a brilliant picture it's a really good picture it's a wide angle screen so it gives you a lot more to look at it's very it's actually very difficult to um, show it on the camera but it does give you a really good view backwards because of the wide angle I like the reversing lights a good clear screen it comes with a, a hood to keep the um, keep the light off I'll put this on I can't get it off now but yeah it, it's it's a very nice and, and it feels a solid bit of kit as well and it's got a microphone as well so if you go around the back and talk to me, I shall be able to hear you. Oh, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can. You can't hear me though. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah. yeah I couldn't hear 
dead. No. So I'm standing there. But that's a brilliant safety feature. You, yes. Even if, even if you can't see someone, you could hear them. Yeah. Yeah. You might not be able to hear them over the engine, but, but no, it's, it is good. A little microphone in the back. I like that. Oh, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> If I could only find a way of fitting that there, then I, 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 I'd recommend this. It looks very easy to fit. I like the fact that they, they give you a little that little plug just to plug into a cigarette lighter, just to well, I suppose to test it. I mean, if you're wiring it in properly, obviously you'd run all the wires in um, permanently. But I think the picture there. Is the is the giveaway? Hmm. It's really for trucks or for motorhomes that haven't got blinds like that. If you've got a curtain or something like that, then it would probably fit in there fine. Do they do another size? Right. Since I made this video yesterday, there's a couple of things I've found out. There is a smaller screen available. It's a five-inch screen. It's a wireless screen. The other thing is that. Um, there is a bean bag attachment that you can get, and the bean bag attachment would mean that you could put it on an on a uneven surface, so it might fit in that sort of channel there, uh, and it probably would be a bit better uh, mounting on a bean bag than perhaps a, a sticky a sticky bracket. The other benefit of that, of course, is that you could take the monitor with you. Obviously, if you take the wireless monitor with you and uh, when you leave the van so there's an added security benefit there so that's it apart from the weather's gone horrible um, if you like this video give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe hit the notifications icon and you'll get updates when we release another video so see you soon